Here's a short sample from the audiobook version of my book, The Power of Affirmations and Positive Self-Talk. Available on Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books. How and Why Affirmations Work Several years ago, I bought a Honda Element. It's a box-shaped vehicle with a unique look. And prior to purchasing the car, I had not given much thought to that make and model. But after owning the car and loving it, I started seeing Honda Elements everywhere I went. It was uncanny. Where were all these vehicles suddenly coming from? Did I unknowingly start a new trend? Of course not. Honda elements were there the whole time. They were all around me before and after I purchased one. It's just that I never noticed them until that distinct make and model was top of mind within me. Here's the thing. Every day, our brains are bombarded with sensory stimulation. Sights, sounds, smells, tastes, physical sensations, and thousands of random thoughts. Your human brain can't possibly process all of that information. It isn't equipped to do that. So your mind was designed to filter out most of it so you can focus on what is most important. How does your mind decide what to focus on? Well, whether you are aware of it or not, your brain develops a filter. This filter is the shield that determines what information to discard and what to let in. Your brain uses many factors to create this mental filter, including your past experiences, your family and upbringing, your religious and spiritual beliefs, your friends and coworkers, the music, books, movies, video games, and entertainment you expose yourself to, your predominant thoughts, and much more. Your mental algorithm. Here's another way to think of it in a modern context. Let's use YouTube in this example, since there's a good chance that's how you discovered my affirmation work. But this principle also applies to Facebook, Amazon, and most social media platforms. When you watch videos on YouTube, the site tracks your behavior. It monitors what videos you watch, what topics you enjoy, and how much time you spend watching. For better or worse, the technology running silently in the background is trying to determine what you are interested in. YouTube and other sites do this because they want to deliver the best personalized experience for you. The more satisfied you are while on the site, the more time you'll spend there, and the more customized content and ads they can serve you. Therefore, if you watch a lot of videos on yoga poses, training a Yorkshire Terrier, and healthy vegan recipes, every time you open up YouTube, you'll see a lot of suggestions for more videos on those topics. Why is this helpful? Because you can't possibly sift through all of the millions of videos on YouTube. Just like your brain can't comprehend all the sensory information around you, so YouTube creates filters to help you. Again, what YouTube is doing is serving more of the content you want based on your previous behavior. If you stop watching yoga videos and start watching weightlifting videos instead, within a short time, YouTube will stop suggesting yoga and start showing you more content related to weightlifting. You might see where I'm going with this. In essence, your mind works in an amazingly similar way. Based on your habits and predominant thought patterns, your brain develops a filter that serves up more of what you focus on. Like YouTube, it uses your most recent thoughts, emotions, and activities to develop and solidify this filter. I hope you enjoyed this short sample from The Power of Affirmations and Positive Self-Talk. Again, the audiobook version is available on Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books. And the paperback and ebook versions are available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and pretty much wherever books are sold online. Thanks a lot for listening, 
and have an awesome day.